Hello guys, uh, we will continue our syllabus related to the RF markers circuit design. So basically, we will focus on amplifier design and more focus on the lower noise amplifier design. So besides stability and gain, it's necessary to design, uh, to have a design consideration on the uh, noise figure. So we need to design with uh, an amplifier with very low noise figure as possible. So because at the front, uh, first stage of front end receiver uh, is uh, normally dominant with the uh, noise. So we, we want to have a uh, design and amplifier which are low noise as possible and high gain as possible. So uh, we need to compromise between the uh, minimum noise figure plus maximum gain. So either one, we want to have uh, the best uh, for both of minimum noise figure and maximum gain. So in order to do that, we need to calculate the traditional constant gain circle and also the circle of constant noise figure. For the constant noise figure, so we must know uh, how to calculate the noise figure parameter, which is N. N equivalent to gamma S minus gamma O uh, optimum to the power of 2 minus 1 minus gamma s to the power of 2. So that's the uh, parameter for the noise figure. Of course, from that, you need to know the, the, uh, the noise figure, minimum noise figure, and the noise figure value. And from that, from the n value, we can calculate that uh, the, the center of the uh, constant noise figure and the radius of the constant noise figure. So by knowing N and gamma of, you can calculate the uh, center of uh, noise figure. Uh, and by knowing N and gamma of optimum, we can calculate also the radius of the uh, circle of constant noise figure. Okay, in order to calculate the gain, so we just follow the uh, traditional unilateral case assumption where as to one, uh, we assume to be uh, zero. So by doing that, uh, we can have the uh, traditional GS and GL uh, value. And we can estimate the GS max and GL max. And from that, we can calculate the normalized gain factor. So this is just a normal one uh, where we want to use uh, to calculate the constant gain circle. Okay, to have a better view, so let's see an example here for the design of uh, low noise amplifier. A gas mass spec is biased for minimum noise figure with the following scattering parameters and noise figure at 4 gigahertz. So all the S parameters values are given. Uh, here, the minimum noise figure is 1.6 dB. And the gamma, the optimum gamma is 0 0.62, the angle of 100 dB. And Rn is equivalent to 20 ohm. For design purpose, assume the device is unilateral and calculate the maximum error in gain. Okay, so the maximum error in gain. Uh, resulting from this assumption. Then design an amplifier having a 2 dB noise figure. So uh, it wants you to design with a 2 dB noise figure with the maximum gain that is compatible with that uh, noise figure. So the noise figure is already fixed and we need to have the, uh, the compatible maximum gain. So we follow the same procedure of designing the uh, basic amplifier design. First, we need to determine the uh, stability circle, whether it's uh, unconditionally stable or conditionally stable. So to do that, we can use the K delta or the mu, uh, and based on the S12, uh, S11, and S22 is less than one. So we can have 
we know it is unconditionally stable or we can determine it by calculating the k and delta here and from that value of k and delta uh, we manage to determine it is function as a unconditionally uh, stable so the next the step number two because uh, the question asks to calculate the maximum error in gp so we just need to calculate the uh, u uh, for the unilateral uh, parameters and from that we just include it in the uh, formula here okay and we can have the uh, amplitude range for the gt and gtu and the max uh, the possible error happen when we assume unilateral because here uh, the s12 value it is not zero, it's 0 0.05. So the range of possible error is plus minus uh, 0 0.5 dB. So this is an assumption when we uh, take the, uh, assume it is unilateral case. So next step, let's plot the, the noise figure uh, circle. Okay, in order to do that, we need to calculate the noise figure parameters. So F minus F min uh, here. Okay. So F given here is 1.58. So minus 1.445. So that's mean. Uh, 2 dB minus 1.6 dB. So all the value has been converted to amplitude value divided by 4 Rn 20 ohm uh, divided by 50 ohm. So 1 plus gamma optimum. So gamma optimum value is 0 0.62 angle of 120. So we get the value of N here and we just include all the value in CF and RF and we got the at the angle of 100 degree and with the amplitude uh, magnitude of 0 0.24 so at angle of 100 degree so at 100 degree we plot the CF okay and so we, we make a, a straight line here okay then we have the radius of the uh, noise figure circle so here is the noise figure circle for the case of noise figure 2 db so in this question it's already fixed the value of noise figure is 2 db that we want and the minimum noise figure is 1.6 db okay next step next step for you is okay so you need to calculate the uh, constant gain circle. So we need to assume, uh, we need to have uh, one technique of try and error. So why we need to have a uh, try and error? We need to determine the, the gamma S value. Okay. So how we want to do that? So you need to uh, make a so you need to make a table. So like this, okay. So we assume uh, for GS, the case of GS is equal to 1 dB, 1.5, and 1.7. So in this case, uh, let's just follow the book. So, so from that value, we can calculate the GS, CS, and RS. And we can plot, plot for these three cases. So we have the 1.7 dB, uh okay so this is the the noise figure circle okay so this is for 1.7 db the orange one then we have the 1.5 db constant gain circle and 1 db so it seems that uh, the constant gain circle will be very big if the gain is 
small. So here, where we want to uh, choose the gamma s value. Okay. So in order to do that, we need to have a point which is uh, intercept between the constant noise figure circle and the constant gain circle. Where is it? It's the interception of the red and the orange line. So it is located here. So the value of gamma S here, we obtain is 0 0.53 with the angle of 75 degree, I think it's, so it is approximately here. So it's approximately 75 degree. So yielding the, the noise figure of 2 dB and the gain of 1.7 dB. So here we have determined the uh, gamma S. So next, we need to determine the gamma L. Does we need to do the same procedure for the output? So no. So here, because the question asks to have the maximum gain, so we just follow the uh, conjugate matching. So here, we choose the gamma L is equivalent to the conjugate of S22. So it is the 0 0.5 with the angle of 60 degree. So where it is located? So I can see the graph so at 80, 70. So maybe around here. Maybe the, okay. So it is here for the gamma L. And we have the gamma S and gamma L on the graph. Okay, to design it. So you just need to do the normal matching circuit. So you can use the start for both the input and output. And it is not complete yet. So we need to calculate the, uh, the gain, the total gain. So here, okay. So here we already know the gain, the input gain of the GS is 1.7 dB. So we need to calculate the, the output gain, which is follow the maximum gain for the output formula. Okay the conjugate matching. So 1 minus 1 minus S2 to the power of 2. So you get the 1.25 dB. So next, we need to calculate the transistor gain which is S21 to, to the power of 2. So we got 5.58 dB. And we add all with the GTU for the unilateral case. So finally, we are able to get the 8.53 dB. So here, so it's important to calculate the uh, the constant gain circle based on the specified noise figure, and from that we have the interception between the noise figure circle and the constant gain circle, and we got the uh, gamma s, and gamma l is from the maximum uh, output gain, uh, we can get the gamma l. So that's all the video for now. Uh, we will continue the next session on the amplifier uh, RF uh, amplifier design.